नॉन डिसजंक्शन डिसजंक्शन इज अ प्रोसेस बाय विच होमोलोगस क्रोमोसोम दे सेपरेट फ्रॉम ईच अदर दिस इज अ प्रोसेस इन केस ऑफ माइटोसिस वेयर द सिस्टर क्रोमाटिड्स दे सेपरेट फ्रॉम ईच अदर वाइल ऑन द अदर हैंड इफ द होमोलोगस क्रोमोसोम और द सिस्टर क्रोमा क्रोमाटिड्स दे फेल टू सेग्रीगेट फ्रॉम ईच अदर सच अ फिनोमना इज कॉल्ड एज नॉन डिसजंक्शन in this diagram we can see that chromosomes are arranged at the metaphase stage that is in the middle these are the chromosomes in the form of homologous or chromosome two sister chromatids are joined at the position of the centromere in case of proper disjunction we can see that the chromosome is divided into two sister chromatid one sister chromatid and second sister chromatid and each of the sister chromatid will move towards the pole one pole and the second pole while on the lower hand if we see that both the sister chromatids they are moving toward one direction so if there is a proper disjunction between the sister chromatids or between the homologous chromosome that is called as disjunction and if there is non disjunction then the separation between the homologous chromosome fails there are two types of the non disjunction first one is mitotic non disjunction and second one is meiotic non disjunction in case of meiotic non disjunction if the disjunction is during the prophase of meiosis 1 then all the sperms or all the ova which will be produced from the primary spermatocyte or from the primary oocyte they will be abnormal failure of the separation of the chromosomes can be of the three types this failure can be during the first meiotic phase where the homologous chromosome they separate from each other it can be during the meiosis 2 where the sister chromatids they separate from each other failure of the sister chromatids can be during the mitosis in case of mitosis sister chromatids they fail to segregate from each other meiotic disjunction produces two cells these two cells they have different number of chromosomes different number of chromosomes is due to non disjunction of the centromeres of the homologous chromosome they will not separate from each other if the spindle fibers they are attached to the sister chromatids they do not attach to one of the sister chromatid ultimately they will not separate from each other one of the cell will contain both the chromosomes or both the sister chromatids while the other will be lacking of the chromosome meiotic uh, mitotic non disjunction produces two type of the cells one of the cell will be trisomic in nature and while the other cell we, will be monosomic in nature if we see in this diagram to understand that what is non disjunction and normal disjunction this is a cell with 46 chromosomes consider the cell that this cell has 46 chromosomes initially as a process of non disjunction if there is non disjunction then one of the cell will have both the chromosomes while the other cell will be lacking the chromosomes as a result of the second meiosis the cells will be produced with 24 chromosome 
and these cells will be with 22 chromosomes so if the cell has 46 chromosome then as a result of meiosis the cells they should contain 23 chromosomes so if we see if the non disjunction is during the meiosis 1 then all the cells which will be produced they will have abnormal number of chromosomes while on the other hand if we see that the first meiosis is the normal one where the chromosomes they segregate one of the chromosome is in this cell and the second chromosome is here because the first meiosis is the normal one and if there is non disjunction during the meiosis 2 in this case the cell will have 23 chromosomes while because there is non -dis disjunction during this meiosis meiosis 2 this cell has 24 chromosome while this cell has 22 chromosome so we can conclude that non disjunction can be during the meiosis 1 and it can be during the meiosis 2 if it is during the meiosis 1 then all the cells which will be produced will be abnormal while in case of meiosis 2 because the chromosomes they have been segregated properly during the meiosis 1 so if there is non disjunction during the meiosis 2 some of the cells they will have normal number of chromosomes while some of the cells they will have abnormal number of chromosomes in this diagram we can see that as a result of non disjunction if non disjunction is during the first phase then the cells will be produced they will be trisomic and monosomic so two of the cells they are trisomic while the remaining two cells they are mon monosomic while in the on the other hand if we see if the second division has non disjunction then these cells they are the normal one while these two cells they are either the monosomic or the trisomic causes of non disjunction there are several causes of non disjunction the important causes are the age of the maternal mean the age of the female the radiations which are present in the environment as well as delayed fertilization after ovulation 